Shortly after the passing over of the talented young actor manager Dennis Nielsen Terry, his actress wife, Mary Glynn, and his actress sister, Phyllis, started to attend regularly at my direct voice seances. The first time that Dennis' voice was heard it was faint and feeble as it called his wife's name. This is Dennis, it added. Can you hear me? I've got to get accustomed to this. I can hear you, Mary Glynn said, encouragingly. With obvious effort the voice went on to give short messages to friends and relatives. Then it said, this is terribly difficult but, don't worry, I shall do better next time. My two visitors were present at the next sitting, anxious to renew their communication with Dennis and hopeful that he would be able to manage the trumpet more expertly. But when the trumpet eventually poised itself in front of Mary Glynn, it was not the voice of a man that emerged. It was a woman's voice, cheerful, calm and confident. This is Aunt Laura, it said. Oh, I was not expecting to talk to you, Mary Glynn said, somewhat taken aback. Dennis brought me, dear. He's with me now. Aunt Laura, Mary Glynn said, suddenly remembering something. I thought of you earlier this year. Do you know in what circumstances? Of course, dear. When you were in South Africa, you went to Port Elizabeth especially to find my grave. You put flowers on it. Yes, I did. Did you say Dennis was there? He's here and ready to talk to you. Give my love to your mother, and tell her I'm very much alive. Hello, darling, came Dennis' voice almost immediately, and there followed a conversation typical of such reunions. When it was over, Red Cloud addressed Mary Glynn. You see, little lady, he said, your man makes progress. This time he managed better, but still he is too tense. But each time he will improve, each time he will get better. Red Cloud, she said. Please tell me. Why did you bring Aunt Laura to speak? For the greater proof, little lady. Everyone knew of your famous husband, even Medi here. Nobody knew of Aunt Laura, not even Medi here. On the next occasion that Dennis Nielsen Terry spoke to his wife he had immensely improved his speaking technique and was able to sustain an almost perfect conversation with her. In the course of it, he made a comment that was apparently irrelevant to what they were saying, yet it had a profoundly moving effect on his wife. I have brought some flowers for you, he said.